Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I got all the Bucky gear on for Christmas Day. Doing a little van camping out here, but we're going to do a little retrospective. We're going to look back on some of the videos and events of 2023 and see all the mistakes we made. Join me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. All right. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. I got my iPad out here. We're going to look at some stats from 2023 to begin this video. In 2023, there was 83,000 views of the channel overall. You can see it was pretty strong in January through April, and then it kind of lowered out, and then it started spiking up again towards the end of the year. And over the course of this year, there are 399 new subscribers. So if you're one of those 399 new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Sometimes Builds. We need a little bit of Vanagon content, a little bit of Kubota, Uncle Charlie's Cabin, four-wheeling, a little bit of everything. It is not a set schedule here with the, with the kind of stuff we do. It's with the projects that come up and the work we got to do. So it's the stuff we do sometimes. Now let's look at top content for 2023. As of course, you probably know, I got a good bunch of subscribers from the uh, sounds of Harry McGowan's Lionel train model train layout. Um, after that was a video of Uncle Charlie's uh, Subaru, his 98 Subaru Impreza RSTI. With, it has a JDM um, swap in it. That still has 11,682 videos. I, I posted that in 2010. Next would be the iCamper Mini. And then after that, the BMW, and then a little bit of um, flail mowing at the uh, Uncle Charlie's cabin. And then next here we have uh, Geography. So I'm definitely definitely a little bit all over the place. We got most of it in the United States, but some in Canada, United Kingdom, and a little bit of Russia and India. That's pretty cool. And then viewer age, this is all over the place. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of 18 to 24, a lot of 25 to 34, and then 65 plus. So there's a good range all over the chart. And that's that's also awesome. I, I think each, each little bit of content, each series attracts a different kind of user base. But if you like them all, even better. All right, got a nice cold one from Mad Science over here. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to go back and watch a little bit of everything from 2023. We did 60 episodes total, 60 videos throughout 2023, and I took a little bit from each one, make, made a big compilation video. So we're going to kick back and watch those right now. Headlights are on for visibility. Next over here, giving it to Sarah. From the I don't from like the taking back. it from the butt. There's a mud puddle for you. Oh. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we. Oh my God! Oh, oh shit! Oh, where? What Sarah. happened? All right, so I am documenting, testing my 1988 Volkswagen van again. Getting used to a camera running at all times. <sighs> Ooh, what you doing? Battery's dead again. It's gonna start resting. Right? Gonna start. It is 16 degrees out right now. It is 5:50 p.m. All right, 49 miles away, back mountain roads, paved. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, no tow truck is needed. So this, I can't believe. I slept with the window open all last night. This isn't working. This is definitely not working. The polyurethane is now dry. Because of that, there's mice everywhere. And I realize every time I leave the van in here, with the door open, sometimes with the door shut, there's, there's always a new resident. Oh, we got heat. Oh, it's working. And now it's ramping up to full power. <laughs> Hey, guess what? We have a leak. 100% not the way this stuff's meant to be used. But we're mechanics, not plumbers, so... <laughs> well, as you can see, the layers just keep coming off. It is near 80 degrees in here right now. I've really had to turn the heat back. Sam, I hope you're happy. This is just as hard to get off as, as it was to get on. This is a pain. Uh-oh. Oh! It's not going as expected. Well, that went to hell really quickly. Too tight in the backyard, just turning the van around. Cabinet fell over, took the, the diesel tank with it, broke the nozzle off the bottom of the diesel tank. Diesel spilled all over the carpet. The tabletop, the countertop broke off of the um, 
of the cabinet. No, Charlie, no! Oh, I knew it! He sent it to the moon. What I'm going to have to do, might as well do it right now. Take the torch and cut it off. <laughs> Now you're the one that goes camping and then zero weather and leaves your house. Yeah. Have you ever talked to, to a psychiatrist? <laughs> I mean a good. Apparently not. <laughs> Hit Don't the, mess with it. Bruce, Hit the start brake. emergency brake. Hit the brake, Bruce. So that's exactly where it was. I believe you bought that cab. <laughs> Just because it had this little old hole right there. Okay, probably 40 bucks. Now what did you buy all those bolts for? Well, they were only like 20 cents. Because those are going to do the same thing with this as this. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Probably 20 degrees at right now. I'm gonna let this warm up and I'll be back. This this does not sound healthy. Doesn't sound healthy at all. I camper mini going in here. This is the I camper Sky Camp Mini 3.0. We're gonna be installing that on my, you guess it, Toyota Tacoma. We're also gonna be using the Cali raised bed rail for the back of the Tacoma. All right, next up is taking the keys. And what are you doing? I uh, just <laughs> for science. <laughs> Oh, here's the instructions on how to put all the rails and everything on. How are they going to include the instructions inside, inside the yeah. freaking eye camper when we needed it to mount it? All right, what y'all thankfully missed was me spending 45 minutes getting the deck level, which is, me is measuring the back to getting that level. And we're back on a much nicer day outside. See, nice and sunny. <sighs> well, you see. I have another resident. There was a pretty good sized mouse, so I jumped backwards. I nearly fell over, but we're not going to get into that. And Charlie's here as well. Uh, so enthusiastic. Uncle Charlie, everyone. <laughs> welcome to the, welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. Today, we're gonna be picking up some equipment for the property in West Virginia. Some tractor equipment. Heck if I know what it is. Right, first project of the day, Sam is joining us today. Hey everybody. And we are gonna be working on Charlie's four-wheeler. I know. And Sarah's here today. But I didn't say <laughs> I just smiled at All right, good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. We are in West Virginia this weekend doing a uh, camping event. First time camping in the uh, iCamper Mini. Made spaghetti sauce. One ball. Oh, shit. We might both fall in. Got it. We might both fall in. Okay. And. We might both fall in. <laughs> oh, shit. We might both fall in. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then we cut the board 60-40 so you can use the full width for a double bed or just the single over here and then use the side for storage. It fits. Jeff's camera right now. Jeff is in the gray four-wheeler. And look at that, he almost wiped it out right there. So yeah, there's the current fuel leak. Looks like a mouse, per usual, got into it and yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Don't yell at me, I hope this isn't a big mistake. It needs just a little convincing. 
Okay, mod number three to use when you're using your eye camper or just camping in general. Beauty storage bin, as you can see, it's very thick plastic. There. in a skag as a brush mower right now. So Mike just came back and said he broke my lawnmower. You know, I just did a little thing. I was like, this mower's been great. We never have any issues with it. Uh, any issues are, are user driven because we abuse the thing half to death. That was not funny. What? So that's what she's going to return the other one and get the Yakima Skybox. No, 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 my oh friend. My gosh. <laughs> wow. That was a lot. Did it break? I don't no. know. He's bringing the tractor over here now and we're going to test out this flail mower. So, this is the Dolphin Nala CC. I'm here with Charlie and Brittany back there, and we are going to Peters Mill Run in Virginia, Woodstock, Virginia, right? So we're heading down there, we're going four-wheeling, and we're gonna take you all along with us, and um, we're gonna show you where to get the passes at, where to park, how to get to the trail, what the trails look like. Um, basically, a nice overview of Peters Mill Run. Maybe if I just pull the alternator are off there. Just keep loosening it. What's coming out any farther? I don't know where I am. <laughs> you can use a shovel or you can use a backhoe for it. Um, in my case, I had Uncle Charlie's tractor over here and then he used the backhoe and dug it out for me. We dug it out very carefully getting about, we knew where it was like depth wise because i had uh probed it with a with like a little shovel downhill with rocks oh 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 finally finally we are camping again we are back out in the woods here in west virginia and we're gonna do some camping however up there does not look that good first off let's let's address that clickbait title the end of mike builds is that really happening no yes no let's kick that off right now welcome to the sometimes builds Today, we are installing level two self-driving, potentially, in my 2020 Subaru Outback Limited. Interesting, we'll see if it actually works. Welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. I'm here with Sarah today. We are finally, finally getting back on this Vanagon floor project. So we're gonna be installing the vinyl floors today, screwing down the subfloor in reverse order. Finished installing the flooring in here. We put the cabinet back in, still gotta bolt it down, but it's all right. Tell me how your day's going. It's hot, it's but it's good. It's we like, finished this. It's 90 degrees in here right now, and she says it's not that bad. And there's lights on there. A Banks iDash system in Charlie's 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's gonna look like this. Join us. After putting on all of the Scotch Bright pads up in there, I also smushed it. Scotch bright pads here on the side, here around the um, bolt area for the grill, and then around here on this side as well. Sarah and I are out here camping today using the Tundra with the eye camper. She's in the Forerunner doing some in car camping, but mainly testing out this GLI Net portable travel router. 
And we're going to put these two Kubotas side by side and their grapples and compare them side by side to see what are the differences. Is one better than the other? They look pretty similar, but there are a few differences and we want to cover all that. So join us. The last time I was up here, I had a little mishap with the front end, put a log through. I do have a picture, so Mike can put up the picture. But I had purchased this grill guard set up. this to this. Join us. <laughs> what the? I got scared. <laughs> oh my god. I got scared. Of what? <laughs> of the turn. Of the what? The turn it was going. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are you all good? So the gray foiler in front of me hit the brakes while going downhill. So that caused the center of gravity to shift forward. Then the rear end came up, front wheels went down, and then a uh, rider was tossed from the four wheeler. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wife kind of kicked me out of the house so she could work on her paper for college so we can finish that up so she's done with school so that's the most important thing so I'm up here doing what I like to do get away do some clearing so you got to join us for an entire season of um, Uncle Charlie's cabin Y'all were with us when we started cutting for the season. We had our season opener. That's when I broke this. Don't tell Uncle Charlie I ran over that stick. Keep that between us. They got me. <laughs> In a big way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bucky's. 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 Little Bucky. Co pilot Bucky. already rest up there let's just let's just send a self tapper through it yep I'm just gonna shoot a self tapper in there it's are on underneath installed those lights and saw the lights all around there that is bolted down I screwed in that bottom panel the kick panel so it's just it just keeps falling off I think I think we're ready to do some backyard camping you know engine doesn't work but at least we can do that Uh, the joys of Christmas. <laughs> Screaming children. It's the, uh, not the cover, the bottom grate for um, pellet, pellet burning in a Solo Stove Ranger. This looks like it would fit perfectly right on top and I could use it as a, you know, a griddle. So Brittany's finally here. <laughs> Apparently ready to party. <laughs> finally, it's time to eat. What? I knew by saying finally I'd get in trouble. Yeah, it's a party bus in here. Um, and gonna probably watch a Christmas movie and get the diesel heater on. Get the... Wow. 2023 was a good year. Really a good year. A lot of four-wheeling trips. It was, funny, it was funny seeing the van again when I first started camping in it to now. My first video in front of a camera and actually talking to a camera versus now it's crazy to see the difference and then see the progression at uncle charlie's cabin where brush everywhere and then we get new new tools new implements and start clearing out the land and making it really nice 
If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We do a video every Saturday at 7 a.m. And this is the Sometimes Builds. It can be all over the place. We do a little bit of rotation from Vanagon stuff to Uncle Charlie's cabin, the four-wheeling to random projects we might be working on, like my septic tank and Charlie's septic pipe. So many projects. But thank you for coming along for the ride. If you have any questions or even comments, what do you want to see in 2024? Drop it down below. Every comment helps. Every like helps. Everybody who subscribes helps this channel so much. So thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. And I will see you in 2024. Peace. <laughs>